monster turkey legs. Whether it's the smoky smell luring you in or the finger licking ribs. They just fall off the bone. Plus, Baker doesn't have a problem keeping his customers happy. One thing about Texas, we do everything big, and so we're going to keep buying barbecue. Uh, we sell out every day, fortunately. God's good to us. He and his wife, Paula, travel around with their mobile barbecue trailer. And after 30 years behind the pit, he's starting to feel the heat as beef prices keep rising. Well, just in the last two weeks, it's gone up 50 cents a pound. And because of the drought, the average cost of beef has jumped to $5.36, the highest since 1987. And pork has gone up 64 cents this year, but less keeps holding on to its prices. So we kind of have to stay the same and hope the economy gets better. And nothing beats Texas barbecue, and many families say they'll still find ways to afford barbecuing this summer. Maybe I won't buy the salad. <laughs> Some will buy cheaper cuts of beef, others will barbecue more chicken, but most agree grilling is just a tradition they can't let go. I grill out nearly every day. We'll come back somewhere else if we have to. And while Les feels a sting right now, he isn't too worried about the barbecue business here in the Lone Star State. But we're going to spend money on good food, and Texas barbecue is good food. In Colleen, Tiffany Pelt, KCEN HD News.